right, so I'm sure you guys are wondering why we're awake so early in the morning here, Sunday. I thought I'd take you guys on a little road trip to show you how I track down all these crazy deals. Uh, we've got somebody that's willing to give us a full M3 interior for the sedan for free. Like, free, free. But we're gonna keep a running tally. We just got breakfast and sandwiches and stuff like that, so that's $3.69, so I'll put that right there. We'll just keep the running tally of how much this free stuff actually costs. But for now, we got four hours one way. So, start hitting the road here. Hey, doing? Thanks so much. So we made it home after about eight hours, a tank of gas, a couple bucks in tolls and some food. Uh, probably all in all, I'd say it cost us about you know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks maybe. But as, as a result, what we ended up with is a full manual uh, sports seat M3 interior in black. Fronts, got the backs there, tri-stitching. Uh, I'm pumped. I mean, these, these are manual seats, so they're gonna be even lighter than the electric seats we have in there now. But not only that, we got the extra bolster from the, uh, you know, the side supports and whatnot. And, you know, big thanks to uh, Zach, the kid I picked him up from. Um, this, this is crazy, seats for free. Just uh, a long trip. So what I'm s really excited about, actually, is uh, ripping these old seats out of the race car. I'll show you guys the difference here, right? Here you can see our uh, our die job on the seats didn't come out nearly as good as the uh, the floor, but you know, on this one we got rips, the paint looks terrible, it's a uh, standard seat. Um, it's raining today pretty good, but first thing tomorrow we're gonna hit it and we're gonna throw this whole interior in and uh, see how the car looks. So, see you guys in the morning. All right, so here it is morning. Uh, I was hoping for the weather to be different. It is, it's colder and it's raining harder, but uh, it's early and I'm just too excited to get these old seats out of the car. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do, <clears throat> these are electric seats, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it all the way forward and then all the way up so that I can take off the, uh, the seat belt and also I'll get access to the two rear bolts there. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> All right, rear bolts, 16 millimeter. And now go back all the way. And all right, now we got uh, all four bolts, uh, two bolts in the rear actually, and two nuts in the front off. We're gonna rotate it back and undo the uh, electrical connectors. It's kind of hard to see underneath there, but. <clears throat> so the, the one smaller guy here, uh, blue and yellow, I believe is for the uh, Seatbelt pyrotechnics, you know you get in a car accident, the seatbelt tightens up 
And then obviously the bigger white connector here is for the power seat plug. All right, last up, now we just gotta rotate the seat forward so we can get the seat belt off. All right, so here's what we're looking at. We've got a Torx, and it looks to be not T50. Now I'll just get the seat out. I'm gonna do this quick because we got some rain coming down. Trying to get these runners lined up. It's kind of funny actually, because they don't they don't pull the same on each side, you know. They're at different spots on their travel. <laughs> Wrong lever. So you guys will like this. So on the levers here you've got to slide the seat forward and back and then this is spring loaded to raise the seat up and down uh, and then obviously tilt forward and back. But anyway, as I'm leaning over to tighten that bolt I tried to pulling this lever so I could pull the runner out and I accidentally pulled this one. Punch myself in the face. All right, let's try this thing out. Oh. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me make a fool of myself here, but. All right, there's one, two, three, four, looks like five levers. This one Ooh, forward and back. Really? It's as far far back as it goes. I feel like the automatic seat went back further, but oh, <laughs> oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, now I'm tilted way. I'm like rocked way back. Let me see. Oh, I see. That's kind of cool, actually. You guys gotta forgive me, never had these before. Wow, those are comfy. Those are pretty good actually. I know that uh, a bunch of years ago I sat in Vader seats and we drove it on a, drove the car on a long trip. And for me, it felt like those seats, like, like my lower back, like there was a fist in it. But uh, yeah, these are all right actually. These are pretty good. Oh man, we're gonna be doing crazy skids with this now. <laughs> now, let's do the other one. So it's absolutely pouring out of here right now, but I'm gonna try giving you guys a good shot of the uh, finished front seats. So, all right, so I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we got free M3 sport seats. Uh, the bad news is the rears don't fit. So if you guys take a look here, 
You can see this is one solid piece with the armrest and my stock seats, these are the 50-50 uh, splits, they actually have the seat belts built into it and I want to keep the split seats around because I'm able to fold these down and stack tires and have stuff run through the trunk. So while this is bad news for me, the good news is somebody is getting M3 rear seats. So if you guys are out there, you got a sedan and you want some honestly mint rear M3 seats, uh, just shoot me a message if you guys live in New England and I'll see what I can do about meeting up with you guys to get it, uh, get it to you. But again, huge thanks to Zach for uh, hooking me up with these seats and it looks like I'll get a chance to hook one of you guys up with these seats too. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next week.